you know, some mornings, Sunday morning, you're really tired, you're like, okay, well, no. and you're, you're ready, and you, you come in, and I, I leave being so thankful that I got the opportunity to do it, um, to spend time with kids, and to, well, spend time with kids, and the Bible, and those stories, um, just bringing it together, walking in faith together. I love it. I feel that I totally overschedule myself, and many times I jump in and I volunteer to do something and then realize, wow, this is a little bit more than what I felt I could handle. But um, maybe God was thinking about this at the same time. I initially was put into a classroom with two other teachers that mentored me, and we spread the load, so to speak, and it was very doable. Well, I teach the youngest age right now, the four and five year olds, and they totally get into stories. And um, the one that comes to mind is last year I told the story about the wolf, the shepherd and the wolf, the wolf and the kids. I could tell just by the feeling in the room, they were totally tuned in. And then when I finished the story and went to the wondering questions, they even said, I was so scared when I was at the point of the story with the wolf and um, so they were right there and it's just this little paper wolf that you're moving across the floor but they were afraid and which was a good teaching moment of but yes look the shepherd the good shepherd protected the sheep just like Jesus protects us. Jesus wears many faces in a sense and I can be one of those faces really and so that is I guess what I would tell another parent is you can be the face of Jesus and you can accept these as your own children. And I think that is just the most awesome experience is to have a hug from a little four or five year old that's glad to see you if you weren't there the previous week. It's just, it's just family. We're a church family and these are our kids and we have a responsibility. It's following God, it's obeying God, but it's God is wonderful, God is love, and you're sharing love. So, I don't want to get too emotional here, but that's how I feel. <laughs> um, it's a time to be, just slow down. And in our society where we're bombarded by electronics and so many different messages, um, that hour is absolutely precious because they get to hear God's Word in a calm, um, supportive environment. And it's not, I realized that it's exactly what they need. Um, so I, I love it.